Welcome to the screencast series on research methods and analysis by data and research. This video will see how to do a paired sample t-test using SPSS and interpret the results. We will use a paired sample t-test to test a within group research hypothesis with a pre-test post-test design. In such a design, the experimenter will manipulate the independent variable and examines how it will have an effect on the dependent variable. For instance, imagine there are a set of participants. We are examining their positive and negative effect by conducting a pretest. After that, they are subjected to an experimental condition to enhance positive effect and reduce negative effect. We are examining their positive and negative effect by conducting a post test. Using a paired sample t-test will test the null hypothesis. There is no significant difference between pretest and post test scores of the positive and negative effect. A little more specifically, the null hypothesis is like the experimental condition has a significant effect on positive and negative effect. The experimental condition is the cause here. Change in positive or negative effect is the effect. In other words, the experimental condition is the independent variable. Positive and negative effect is the dependent variable. To test this hypothesis using a paired sample t-test, we need a dependent variable in interval or ratio measurement level for the, the data of the dependent variable has to be normally distributed. We'll try the paired sample t-test using SPSS. There are groups here. There is experimental group which is coded as 1, control group which is coded as 2 and one variable is positive effect pretest and there is positive effect post test. So this is uh, the test which has been taken initially before the intervention. This is the test which has been taken after the intervention. Likewise, negative effect we have pretest and negative effect there is post test. If we click here, we can see experimental groups. Experimental group is here and control group is given below. We'll go to analyze and we'll go to compare means. There is an option for paired sample t-test. Click on that. In this positive effect pre-test we are sending towards variable 1. Positive effect post-test we are sending towards variable 2 negative effect pretest we are sending towards variable 1 and negative effect post test we are sending towards variable 2 just press ok the result is here this is paired sample statistics table this shows the cor correlation between the pretest and post test participants in both the groups have similar kind of increase in scores is what it has been shown here through this correlation value and it is significant this is the t table in this one we can see t here we will copy this table and we will paste it in an excel sheet here mean Standard deviation, standard error mean, we don't want to show, so I am removing it from here. Next, copying the paired sample test table, pasting it below this. Mean difference, I am writing the short form. This is standard deviation of main difference. So 
standard deviation of mean difference we will write here and standard error i am not going to show in the table confidence interval i am not going to show in the table i have to show and degree of freedom no need of showing in the table significance that means p i have to show p probability i have to show modifying the numbers into two decimal places and this can be m n i am not showing here okay st tests which i have given pair 1 and pair 2 i am not considering in the table control c like this merging cells justifying this into the center now making the table presentable in a manuscript while sending to the journal Good. table is ready this is the table we created this is t this is the most important value in this table t for the difference between pretest postest scores of positive effect is 1.43 the negative sign of t shows the direction that the post-test mean is greater than the pre-test. Its p is 0 0.16, which is greater than 0 0.05. So probability is greater than 0 0.05. We have to accept the null hypothesis here. The experimental condition has no significant effect on positive effect. Comparing the means, the pretest is 38.33 with an SD 6.25 and the posttest is 38.97 with a standard deviation 6.08. P indicates that the difference between pretest and posttest is not significant. The mean difference between the pretest scores are negative 0.63 and the standard deviation is 3.42 t for negative effect is 2.14 p is 0 0.04 which is lesser than 0 0.05 there is a difference between pretest and posttest scores here unfortunately referring to the mean the negative effect during the posttest is greater than that of the pretest negative effect increased with a mean difference of 1.63 however we cannot say this is the effect of the experimental condition if we had a control group we would have been able to say that but what if we have an experimental group and control group can we still do a paired sample t test let us try it with the same data we'll go to the data view and we will go to data and here there is an option to split the file click on this one here compare groups we have to compare the two groups so i am sending this groups towards this particular small window and now i'm going to split the whole data into two the experimental group and control group i'm going to analyze Compare means paired sample t test. Everything is already entered. I don't want to do anything. Just press OK. We will develop a table on this and then we will interpret. I am copying this paired sample statistic table from here. Now I am again going to the output view of 
SPSS copying the paired sample t test table this is the main difference I am going to remove the standard error main table from here we don't want to show it in the table instead I am showing mean difference mean difference of post t effect pretest and post t effect post test is minus 2.3 copying it and pasting it here now standard deviation of each of these four mean difference is also given here i can copy that also t i have to show and this is p i am taking the p from here now some modifications here this is the table which i would like to present this is the table we now created here in experimental group t the difference between the pre and post test of positive effect is 4.41 and negative effect is 1.16 for the control group t for the difference between pre and post test of positive effect is 1.79 and negative effect is 3.73 in the experimental group p of the t for positive effect is lesser than 0 0.05 and of negative effect is greater than 0 0.05 in control group probability of the t for positive effect is greater than 0 0.05 and negative effect is lesser than 0 0.05 that means there is a significant difference between the pre and post test of positive effect in the experimental group but there is no significant difference between pre and post test of negative effect in the experimental group there is no significant difference between the pre and post test of positive effect in the control group but there is a significant difference between the pre and post tests of negative effect in the control group specifically in the experimental group the post test mean is higher than the pre test means and there is a significant difference between the two tests as p is lesser than 0 0.05 in the control group even though there is a significant difference between the pre and post test means that difference is not significant as p is greater than 0 0.05 based on the comparison between the experimental group and the control group we can conclude that the experimental condition had an effect on positive effect Immediately, I rejected my null hypothesis and accepted an alternative as my finding. Even though there is a difference between the pre and post test of the negative effect in the experimental group, the difference is not significant as P is greater than 0 0.05. In the control group, comparing the means of negative effect, the post test mean is higher than the pre test mean. This indicates an increase in the negative effect for the control group and this increase is significant because p is lesser than 0 0.05 based on the comparison between the experimental group and control group we can conclude that the experimental condition made the negative effect almost stable in the experimental group but in control group negative effect increased significantly based on this i am placing the next finding as the experimental condition has a significant effect on negative effect too but what is the effect size of these effects we will discuss the effect size in another screencast hope you enjoyed learning about the paired sample t-test if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations please write to d and r365 at gmail.com